There's a chick on YouTube who's trained by her uncle. She had some video the other day that I super would agree with. Stop with the smaller time frame. She's really trying to transition herself into bigger time frames. More peace, more profits, more time. I don't know how else to say that. More peace, more profits, more time that she's gonna have access to. But for me, again, I'm probably not entering here. I would put pending or alerts, you know, all throughout in this range, all throughout in here, either pending orders, scaled up. So X percent, X percent, X percent, each one of these percents getting larger kind of thing. And or alerts at each one of these levels, just because I know Know this has got a couple at least 100 ish pips for a pullback where i'm pretty confident and i could even say hey i'm gonna put an alert to the downside and say hey if i'm wrong and this doesn't give me as much of an impulse up a retracement up at least i can catch the downside a little late but cool you know better late than never you have to decide there's nothing wrong with going to the smaller time frames and taking your entries but the problem is this looks clean one big buy one big sell but in the day-to-day -day, this is nothing but chaos literally nothing but people winning and losing so you have to decide Side, if you're gonna be on the smaller time frame, to me, you're better off taking that smaller take profit. When you're doing something like this on the smaller time frame, you're gonna get a 50% accuracy. If you go here, you're gonna have a lot better likelihood of getting that 70, 80, 90%. So at the end of the day, you've gotta decide, but I lean toward the swing trading because it's peace. I want peace and profits. I don't want pressure and profits.